I mean, hardly ever happens. I think it's because she was like, you know, mega pasty to start. I'm surprised you're here. Surely, the more you encourage people to do this, the more competition for you. Yeah, well, trying to nab a few uh, dirt cheap apprentices, aren't I? To get back into Benita's good books. Oh, <laughs> hello. Um, you want to be a lorry driver? No. Well, that's what I'm here for. And I'm here because I have to be. So it looks like we're both having our time wasted. I'm really pleased you're considering this. You've already got the right attitude. She's been helping us in between classes. It's been invaluable. All right. Well, she should stop then. What? No, 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 please don't stop. But if it's not valuable... It is. But you just said it wasn't? I said it was invaluable. Yeah, not valuable. Uh, thank you very much. We need to get our story straight, that one. <sighs> just being honest, killing time. Hey, we all know he wants to be a doctor, but it's chock-a-block over there. And he's already put it out to me, it's not parents' evening, but I just wanted to ask, how's he doing? Yeah, he's good. One of my favourites. No, but I mean, you know, with schoolwork. Well, we all know he's had his issues, but I think he's working through it. Good job. One thing I would like to say, you need to have more ambition, Jacob, to get what you want in life. You mean, be, be a doctor? It's one thing to say it's what you want, but you may even think that you're doing enough. But you've got to prove it. You've got to show how determined you are. Otherwise, sometimes things slip through your fingers. Mm. That is very good advice. Yeah, are you listening, Jacob? Yeah. <laughs>